Okay, well, this is basically the beginning of how it all began. This doesn't look too complicated, as you can see. The simple circles, uh, you can see the background on it. This is not that difficult to do. It's difficult to do to some people, but to me I found it very easy. But from this, it was an evolution. And we'll walk down here. Tuesday or Wednesday, just see how you meet out the weekend. And if you have any questions, we're here tomorrow. Well, I have flying spirits here. I, I kind of like those. I enjoy putting those in there. Now, if you note, this color, in a sense, matches to this color in here. It's lighter. This right here is completely separate. So you have this, you have this, you have the, 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 the spirits, and you also have the outline. And when you put this on and start looking at it, you're going to freak out. This is really, really an interesting. This one right here is quite simple. Well, this probably took me more time than almost any of them that I've ever worked on because I never got it quite right. And it's, to me, it's still not right. And if you came back probably in a week or two, it would be different. Now we move over to the things that... Uh, this one right here is, is... I call it magic. Why? Well, if you take a look over here, you see this is blue, correct? Okay. All right. But it's like a, like a light blue. Well, this right here has particular types of substance on it. That when you look at it in dim light, this whole thing glows. Really? All of a sudden, you forget that it's sort of like a flower type thing with a vase down here and flowers, and it glows. This is something that that has taken a long time to, to figure out to do. Uh, we, I will be using more of this type of stuff. I know when people, as soon as they learn how to do it, are going to start doing stuff like this. So I'm trying to figure out what people are going to do when they find out how I do it. This right here again. I like the flying spirits. This is simple silver out here. This right here is when you put the glasses on and you take a look at it, it's just so nice to look at. It's just something that you can put anywhere. And uh, people would look at it and they may just look at it. You hand them the glasses and look, that's the conversation. You have the conversation. Now, over here, I tried to make this as close as I could as to a flower pot, as you can see. I've knocking out the flower pot. Up here is a complete flower. Now, there's many layers on this. It's just not one painting. There's many layers on this. Now, as you can see, the blue, I have not put any substance into this, so this one doesn't glow, but this one is so uh, classical. If you saw this anywhere, let's say a museum or a, or a, or a famous art store, you would look at it and you would not look at it as something extremely cheap. This right here was just fun. That's just fun and it's nice to look <laughs> at. And as you can see... A lot uh, of different colors. Different colors, different creatures in there. Uh, this is just a nice one to do, but surprisingly this takes a long time. This probably took me two weeks to do. Yeah. Because I'm trying to get the substance and never get the right colors. This right here is, well, I'm surprised this one still is, exists. Uh, th th this one has not gone. Not enough people have seen it. Yeah. Because once you start taking a look at it, this alone on a wall 10 feet away, this catches your eye. Absolutely. I don't care where you put it, people walk up to it and they'll look at it. Then they'll start looking at this. You put the glasses on and you got a really surprise. The depth uh, coming out and going in is really amazing. But what's interesting about this is once you start looking at it with this, all right, you don't know where to look. There's just so much to see. Now, as you can see, uh, again, a lot of this is mistakes. You've got a fish right there, as you can see. Uh, and supposedly, you can almost say there's a fish coming out this way. I could still do more work on this. But when you put the glasses on to this, the fish absolutely comes out. This goes in, and you have a whole, you can call them flowers or lily pads in there. 
This right here is one that I happen to personally like. Uh, it's changed a lot. There's a lot of things in it. You can see probably a chicken hair and pumpkin hair. There's all sorts of other creatures yeah, inside yeah, all kinds there of creatures, yeah. when you start looking around. more, A lot of artists put little secrets within their art. Well, you put the glasses on and guess what? A secret within a secret within a secret. This right here, well, I spent a lot of time trying to figure out how to make this modern yet keep it with my style. Obviously, this right here is the center part of it. This right here also will go with this. These are all put in such an angle, mathematically. We'll call it mathematically put in. It's put in in such a way that when you start looking at it, again, you can look from here to there, which is different from here to here, which is different, but they all look sort of alike. This is kind of a, a little fun thing to look at. This is just playing around. This one I was just playing around. I really don't find this uh, complicated, but it's interesting. You look at the name down here, which I have is uh, Gidge, and you'll see that the name goes in. And that's part of what I obviously, the work tries to do, is go in and come out. If you take a look at these, these right here are, again, very simple. I love these shapes. I just, I just happen to like doing these. I've been doing these for years. But the way it's set up is, this is a, a silver background, but if you put your glasses on, all of a sudden everything starts coming out on it. In other words, you could put this anywhere, it sort of looks childish. Like spiral shapes, yeah. So when you put the glasses on, all of a sudden it comes out at you. This right here is another fish. Uh, well, kind of a fish, like two fishes in a sense. These right here, once you put the glasses on to these things and take a look at it, this truly looks like as if it's in the ocean. This comes right out at you. It's so mind. This is one a lot of people have put glasses on, studied it, and didn't know really what to make of it, so they didn't buy it, which is a mistake. Because as soon as we begin to start selling some of these, uh, a lot of these, then the people are going to wonder why they hadn't purchased something because this is completely new you haven't seen it before this is a new art form now when I say new art form I mean it but you're seeing me do it in this way wait until people learn how I do it and then all of a sudden people are gonna start doing this everywhere this right here I happen to like I probably I'm not crazy with the black in the background but I can't find another color that will bring everything out. Again, if you start taking a look at it, and, and by the way, I'm using white in this. Very few people just use plain white. That's true, believe it or not, if you look at other paintings. As you can see, white up here. But if you take a look at this, this truly is, well, to me, it's really magic. This is playing around. To me, this was never complete. Uh, I wouldn't have brought this one out here today, although people do seem to like it. Uh, to me, it's not, it's not really finished. But you put the glasses on, and the reason why it's probably out here is because when other people look at it, they say, no, it's not only not complete, it's complete. It really looks amazing. This just knocks your, your, your socks off. And if you use these glasses and put them on, oh, we have better glasses than this. If you use these glasses and you put them on, what you're going to see is stuff coming out at you, that going in on you. This has never happened before. What you're seeing right here is artwork that, as it is right now, the way I am doing it, this is how I do it. As soon as people learn the process, as soon as I tell people how to do this, then you're going to see a lot of people doing a lot of different type of artwork, and that's really the exciting part of it. So I pretty well much kept it this way simply because I don't want people to figure it out as, as quickly as... as uh, I like them to wait a while so I could sell a few, but from over there to here is about four years of work. We moved down here. 
This one right here is, as you can see, is completely abstract, but if you put the glasses on, the difference from the f second one we saw in this one is it goes in deeper right. and it comes out further. And that's the important thing. Figuring that out was difficult, number two. Number three, to get to this point, is obviously extremely complicated. What would be your inspiration for something like this? I mean, were well, you inspired by anyone or anything to, to put something like that? Well, I think we have to go back to the Jackson Pollock part of it. That's how I started out, was doing the Jackson Pollock part. Uh, then I tried to figure out what would be the, the next thing that Jackson Pollock would come up to or somebody coming after him. And I figured that this is an abstract which looks good within itself, but as soon as you put the glasses on, all of a sudden it's just magical. Right. And after a period of time, you don't need the glasses. That's the interesting part. You All of a sudden you begin to see it. Yeah. If we move down here, this is pretty similar. Uh, obviously, but still. Yeah, I love that one. Yeah. Again, I am working on the depth. How far can you go in? How far can you come out? And someone will have to figure out a how I do it. Then somebody's going to have to figure out how I do this one. So that it comes in major stages. If you take a look at something small like this, this is pretty much telling people exactly what I'm doing. Uh, a painter person who works with different types of paints and and uh, uh, styles that would start to pick up exactly know what I am doing. This right here is very simple. That's not complicated. Anybody can figure out that. It's this in here that you can't figure out. Right. It's almost impossible. It, well, it is impossible. Here's a simple design. It looks simple. As you can see, this is a black background. This is silver. But again, it's this in here and this. It's impossible to figure out. Let's move over to this one, and this is, again, uh, it's sort of connected to the third one we looked at, fourth one we looked at, but this gives it more definition. In other words, instead of looking to see the depth, I am giving you a little lines here where you, now you can look at it, now you can see there is far more to this. Right. If you took the lines out of this, you would not see it you just would not notice it. So that's the reason why. And this one right here is uh, actually a lot more complicated than it probably looks. Why? It's, again, different, obviously. It is outlined like that one, but this right here is really the part that I've tried to work on. Mm -hmm. In other words, this in itself has a depth. If you were just to look at it, you would not see the depth of the painting. If you put the glasses on, you would. Right. This one is fascinating. This is a whole new way of doing it. Uh, as you can see, I'm getting more into the flower aspect of it. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I like flowers, but I'm sick of flowers. Uh, but this right here is still stuff that people can't figure it out. Let's just say you could figure this out. You wouldn't be able to figure this one out. Yeah, the middle it's is just much so, more abstract. So complicated. But this is a nice design. You don't really have to have 3D on your on your wall. You can put this one up here. Right. If you move down to this one, which actually should probably be more in this angle, as you can see, it again, we are drawing in sort of the flower and some of the... Uh, uh, objects in the background, but again, if you look at the paint on the background, this is basically what I've worked on. So, what you possess is stuff you're not going to be able to figure out here, but then the background. So, this is very complicated. This is probably one of the more complicated ones. If you move over here, this right here is not, as you can see, not rounded with uh, any type of uh, an ink or paint. Okay. So in other words, this is an abstract that you would look at it and you'd be able, it takes a little bit more time to see the, the aspects and the things inside there. This is far more interesting uh, after looking at it for a period of time. You want to move down here, this gets really 
this is outside the outside the box. In other words, everything is out, seems to be outside the box, but this one is extremely complicated to do. Again, what makes you, it really complicated on this one? Yeah, it, it is complicated, there's no question. But again, if you look at this, that almost looks like it's light shining down. It's not. That's paint. This right here is a is, is a, 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 a penny type of a paint. Uh, there is no designs here. I'm not blocking in any of the designs. But again, if you take a look at this one and start looking at the depth of it, and this is also one that after a while you start you don't need the glasses anymore. And that's pretty much of what I'm attempting to do. A, you train your eyes to see it with the glasses, better glasses than these, and then all of a sudden you start to see this. All of a sudden, guess what? As you put this on a wall, people may walk in, they may take a look at it. You hand them the glasses, they take a look at it, and this is your conversational piece. Actually, they all are. Yeah. What rugs do you have here? Uh, they seem to be high quality and come from all over the world. Yeah, we sell rugs from India, Pakistan, China, Nepal, uh, Iran, which are Persian rugs, and uh, America, machine-made American rugs as well. So we have um, all price levels, all styles, all qualities, all colors, you name it, we can get them. Um, I noticed there's some very traditional rugs and there's also some very modern looking uh, pieces. That, yes. Uh, you know, look super um, up to date, industrial yes. type, type designs. Can you show us some of the differences? Like, describe what we're looking well, at. Well, this here. is a rug from Iran. This is Persian, and it's a traditional uh, design called Bijar, and it's actually made in the city of Bijar, and it's very fine woven, very durable. Um, then we have the more contemporary rugs like this, which are made in Nepal, and they have uh, wool and silk, some of them, some are all wool, very simple modern designs. Um, and we have tribal style rugs as well, um, transitional. Today the fashion industry drives the carpet industry, so we're making rugs in all different styles, colors, and designs to suit any designer or customer that, that comes in looking for rugs. What's so special about this store that's unique compared to other rug places? Well, we've been in business since 1953. Uh, we're fourth generation in our family in the rug business. My dad and I are the owners and we do all of the sales so you're not dealing with a salesperson. We educate our clients um, so that they know what they're buying and they know the difference between the type of rugs that we sell and the type of rugs you see at department stores and uh, you know, the uh, tent sales and things like that. I mean, that's what confuses our industry. There's a lot of uh, Orientals or handmade rugs that are um, getting sold at a very low price point, but uh, many times so those are rugs that are made with lesser craftsmen, lesser quality wools and dyes, and, and aren't what people think they're buying. We sell a quality of rug that we can stand behind, and it, and and if there were ever any problems, we we take care of those problems for you. So, how long does a rug last typically? Most a good quality wool rug, if you take care of it, will last forever. Um, there is no timeline on that at all, and that includes machine-made rugs too. We've cleaned uh, a high-end machine-made wool rug that uh, 40, 50 years old, so um, they will last as long as. The client takes care of them, cleans them regularly, uses uh, regular maintenance. They'll last as long as uh, you need them to last. So, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. Thanks for being here. Uh, hey, this is Persian rug, uh, which has been here a long time. Sixty years. Fourth generation. Fourth generation. Yeah, my son is the fourth generation. Fourth generation, yeah. and and, and uh, this. Work seems to kind of go with your carpet store degree. Well, it's art. It's and art. I think all art goes together. I really do. I think it's um, quite unique and unusual, and I was really glad and pleased to have it here because it wasn't expected. It was the unexpected. I think people, when they think about art, they think about you know standard art that they're used to seeing, 
this is unique and unusual and it intrigues people as to how you're able to uh, get the effect of the 3D um, through painting. Nobody can figure out yeah. what it is yet. Yeah. Yeah. So what, what you see is something that... But let's walk over here because I want to show a little bit of size art with size of. See this? These are beautiful. I mean, these are beautiful rugs. I mean, we talk about design. You talk about beauty. This type of stuff has influenced people from centuries. Well, rugs, oriental rugs have been made for thousands of years. Thousands they, can, of years. they date back to thousands of years. And a rug, I guess people don't understand how much time it takes to make an oriental rug. But one knot at a time, one foot takes one month. So a rug that's 10 feet long takes 10 months. With four weavers, is 40 man months to make an 8 by 10 rug. Let's get a picture of Sai up there. Uh, Sai's flying around on one of his carpets. Now, listen, if you could get one of those, uh, you know, I will patent it and we can... Well, I'm the only one that's ever been able to figure out how to make an oriental rug fly. And uh, <laughs> people still look at it and go, I don't know how we did it, but um, um, I am the only one with a flying carpet. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you very okay, much. Okay, no, I really appreciate you letting us be here pleasure. in the store. It all works like a little okay. bit of that cosmos, okay. the yes. solar winds, uh, the clusters of stars. Everything is that sort of you know, burst and flow. And that's what he's captured in these, in these designs. It just radiates out. And it's so graceful. Yeah, so what the, I would do the if it were me, in there is I would look at that it's just for the so, big ones, so pretty. and then the reverse like of the runners. Organism. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. yeah, and well, the you know what's... The, yeah. so the favorite, intelligent guys. universe. Now, you know I mean, what I want? You know, say, I, that I can't be an accident. That, so do you know why? Because when you're walking, I don't want to... This is the way things work. Get my feet and And everything works that way. All the patterns. Around this one. Yeah, I just want to show where that is. I'll show you this. I like oh, to look yeah. downstairs too for you. Oh, I'm going to bring it down. That's a much yeah. Favorite. Yeah. You can see it, yeah. You put your they, I'm not an artist, but how do they achieve it? Is it the paint or is it... Uh, it's the different, different types of paints that uh, Ken uses. I don't know exactly how... Um, where, yeah, if you put a feather or your finger, it feels like it would be going through. What do you mean? It would feel feel like your finger was going through the painting, or you could. If I reached out, you mean? Yeah, yeah. I don't want to touch anything. Will I touch it or no? It just feels like it. It feels like it is, yeah. On on some of them. See, actually, my finger is going through it. Right? Yeah. That's wild. Yeah. Any particular ones you like, or? I don't know. Selling perfume. We, we can't show it other than people talking about it. Wow. <laughs> That's so cool. That's really incredible. And when I walk, yeah, it moves. It pops out even more. Correct. That's so oh yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. That it's like it's amazing. popping out at you. Take, and a it's take the feathers and, and, and play around with the paintings and, and the feathers. Like here, give, you, give your dad that one and, and you can take this one. And it's the whole effect of trying to find that surface. Oh, wow. I, it feels like I'm two or three inches away. Oh, behind the flower. There's a feather. Like I can come up behind it. Oh wow, amazing. How do you do this? Now that's the thing with the camera. I could tell you, but then my husband would have to... Uh, Dad, yours is really awesome. Oh, this one is really cool. I like really? how you don't have to be directly in front of them. Because if you're yeah. looking at them from You can look at them from sideways. Different maybe. angles, yeah. It gives you a really excellent... Oh, I really like this. <laughs> Hello. I know you. Good. Are you art walking? 
Is there a particular okay. one that you would say is your favorite? My favorite one this is this one. one. <laughs> that one there? That one is great. Yeah. I like this one with all these dots. Because it feels like I'm looking at something that's about three or four layers deep. Yeah. 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 They both are. Okay, so okay, I'm taking these off. And move it around, right. It's so weird to see them without sometimes the glasses. They look so cool. The, um, is right yeah, see them with and then without. Yeah. Yeah, it's so different. yeah they're quite. Yeah, the images, they quite kind of pop great, at you. When, you know, nice works of art without the glasses, but then when you put them on, it's like you go inside the picture. And there's more. There's all, there's all different kinds of styles over here. Um, I think it's really interesting. I would have never thought they were anything until you put the 3D glasses on. It looks like very junior high art when you didn't look at them through the glasses, and then it's like, oh my god, there's so much here. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. And, and, and say which one you like best and why. Oh, I like this one because I like the colors. I'm drawn to the colors. Hello, are you in the shoes? Oh, yes, I'm just browsing.